back again. So they've been drilled like we've said, we had that in the chuck and all we did we just run those backwards and forwards. So all we've done is actually open the bore up. And that's it. Job done. Like so. So now we want just your basic, as I've stated before, 1.5mm hollow tip with a 1mm bore. So all that would happen then is we would glue that in place so you've just got, we'll call it a nipple, have a little chuckle you young youngsters, but we'll call it a nipple. Right, just at the end. So the hollow bit's at the bottom and that's at the end as such. Now, when I used to do them and sell them, I had these, these made. They're little weights and they take 0.1 of a gram. Now, if you make your own floats and you have a lathe, you, you, can, you can make these yourself. Just buy a bit of rod, 2.5 mil, and just drill them, 1.5 mil. And you want them a tightish fit. And the whole idea is, you would then glue that in place. Well, this is the, the, rounded, the rounded diamond. So on the rounded diamond, there was probably half an inch, three quarters of an inch at the bottom. If that makes any sense. Glue that in place. And that would be that. On the rugby ball, exactly the same again. See, it doesn't matter if it's a bit rough because we're going to cover that anyway. So, once again, you youngsters have a chuckle. We'll leave a nipple at the end. And we'll get another one of these weights. That would go on the end and that would then be glued glued in place okay so that's how we start off so I'll, I'll, I'll just take you back off this so that's been opened up the bore to 1.5 that is a hollow tip and that is a weight that I've had made but if you can't make them yourself or you can't buy them or anything else if you get some, um, oh, let's think, 10 amp, 10 amp fuse wire, that should do the job and just wrap it round because we're going to paint it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that's how it finishes up. Job like that. So we don't need that. You've got the gist of that. That's done. Now, the way I do them then, so that's it all glued, if we can see that in position. Now, as you see, I've got a one mil piece of glass stuck in. That doesn't go all the way through. What I would tend to do is, if you've got this, we'll get the glue out. We don't mind losing a tip. To make them easier to work with, if you've not got no dip, well, you shouldn't have, because this is aimed at those that just want to knock a few floats up for themselves. This is not aimed at being a, a full-blown glue floats and flog them on the internet job. So, you can take that in. It only needs to go in probably well I don't know five mil maybe not even that just as long as it's in a bit it just gives you something to hold on while you're painting it so so now you see I've got the same as that the way I would do it obviously because being a float maker and you using a dipping machine um, well dipping machine hydride dipping dipper um, obviously I would dip those base white but you could paint them use a paintbrush Paint it base white, and you finish with that. When that's gone off, just put the fluorescent over the top, halfway down, or whatever it is, and then obviously black it off, black it off, and then the good bit is, let's get a bit of timber, makes it easier. When, when, the, when it's completely finished, so it's like this. In fact, that's got a little bit there. You can take that off. There we go. So you can have it nice and nice and have your. So, first of all, the nipple. They are a little chuckle, you youngsters. So just sight it on the edge so you've got something to rest down on. Just off of the blade. And all you've got to do is just turn it round. Let the blade do the job. You see? Already we've got the hole in there and it's not destroyed the finish on the jigger. 
then exactly the same that was the weight as I've used but if you've used um, fuse wire or, or 10 amp wire or what have you to wrap it round it's, it's exactly the same you're looking for about uh, 0.1 of a gram that'll, that'll cock it blade again obviously once you've painted it once it's, you've painted it black so it's finished then just whoops we've lost that one yeah no I think the dog will eat out oh, there it is the wrong dog eats it there you go so that's the off cut and you could actually use that then for a spigot for another dibber or something whatever so that's what we've got although well, these are point twos I'm hoping that it still sits up and don't sink so obviously you would have painted well you could leave it like that actually it don't make no difference but that just to just to show we use a bit of 08 um, this is 08 glass but that should have a one mil bore just to show that we threw yeah see nice and clear which is what you want for the line to go through because using a jigger not my cup of tea but you cart boys you love it so um, that's it so water let's bring it back so you can or you take it forward no take it back so there we go so obviously if that was if that was 0.3 body against the 0.2 that would obviously be a bit more buoyant um, than that so um, I think th this now it concludes it for um, the cart pounds because we like well we're into August now the back end of August and um, August means roaches and chubbies and proper fish um, so hopefully I've, I've shown you um, well plenty of basics anyway which was the idea um, I've tried to use as many of the, of the companies out there um, I've used the main ones um, there is float studio as well is one of the um, who's one of the major suppliers as well um, and and they probably use the like I say it's a hard one to it's a bit dusty in there um, that's a 110 foam um, if you've not got the um, the tools uh, for, for drilling out it's it's best to leave alone because you you'll just melt the plastic on these because it's very hard um, foam best to stick to um, H160 or the bog standard from finesse which is which is brilliant foam it's super foam and it's very very easy to work with and you don't have to be a float maker to knock up a, a few pole floats um, so in this one let's put these together because I like to give the old thumbs up so what we've actually done they're, they're the ones I used to flog standard jigger that was the for stability the rounded jigger will it stick in? yeah and that was the ones that have shown you up. they've got no weight at all they're all assembled, glued, made call it what you want and just a bit of paint and that's it so let's put these out um, that was let's have a look, the P float nice and simple glue, paint Oh, so I inside another one easily done and something you don't see very often but on its day it is a brilliant bit of big kit just dead simple a lollipop which obviously lots of anglers used to fish them with an iron but it's, it's an old canal thing we used to make them really really small and tight and we used to use well just a slither of air if you want to call it or even a bit of hard grass so they, they would just one one um, rubber at the top and just lay them in so when it was just everything was direct so when you got a bite it was just everything used to hook itself so there we go some nice easy jiggers and shallow patterns so the next lot um, I should be looking at will be I'll, I'll be looking probably more um, Alku make silver orientated um, pole floats um, obviously because I fish the puddles well basically all the time now and I don't know when I'll get back on the cut again so I'll, I'll try and use some of these ready-made um, bodies I might lean towards um, buying in some ready-made um, balsa bodies 
and see if we can do something with them to make a reasonable um, canal pattern. And they're definitely fine for, for the commercials without a shadow of a doubt because most of your fishing anyway is fishing with a bulk. It just becomes difficult when you're, when you're trying to get the float to do something proper in the water instead of just sit and go up and down, up and down, up and down, which is most puddle fishing. Um, so I should look at that in, in, the, um, in the next vids. That this is most definitely the the end of the the carp run until next year. Now I'll, I'll have another look, and if you you've got any suggestions, you you want me to um, show you, you know, or if I've got any ideas, um, how you make such and such a carp float, or how you're going to glue it together, assemble it, call it whatever you will, then please send us a line. Don't be frightened. I'll try and answer as many questions as possible. So until next time, that's jiggered. <laughs>